Tony Cordero. Uh, I'm the president and CEO of Spatial Networks. Uh, I'm interested in talking tonight about mapping uh, graffiti. Why? Well, I was in Kabul uh, in December. That became an issue, talking about um, understanding the sent sentiment in certain neighborhoods in Kabul and understanding what people were feeling, right? So what is graffiti, right? For a lot of folks, we think of one or two things when we think of graffiti, but it is really so much more. It's art, uh, it's poetry, visual poetry, it's protest, uh, it's vandalism, right? So when we talk about poetry, uh, when we talk about graffiti, right, we, we can't just have one uh, perception of that. <clears throat> People make money by going around and painting these uh, uh, beautiful wall arts, right? But what does that say about the community that they live in? It's vibrant, there's multiculturalism there, that things are looking up. This is what we typically think of when we think of graffiti, right? Anybody who's traveled uh, in the subway in New York City knows exactly what that feels like. Um, but I'm interested in looking at that from a, a, a geographic standpoint, a cart cartographic standpoint. Right? This is in Tehran, uh, talking about graffiti there, looking at what they're talking about, what's important to them. Please don't uh, bomb us, don't go to war with us, we want peace. Right? That's the message. Um, so if we can map graffiti and map graffiti where it's at and try to categorize and understand that, maybe we can start understanding what's going on in an urban environment, right? It's a picture I took uh, of some graffiti in Kabul, right? Clearly intended for English-speaking audiences. Why do we care? Why is this important, right? Understanding what's going on in a local level, in a neighborhood level, can be very important to, uh, well, U.S. foreign policy, number one, but even in our own country, what's going on in certain cities, right? The Occupy movement. What do we have here? Anybody? It's a barometer, right? A barometer about society, about, about civil structure, and about what's going on at the grassroots level of, of society, wherever it is. Graffiti can be that barometer, right? Right here in Florida. It says it right there. Graffiti is a growing, uh, a sign of a growing problem, right? You have increasing vandalism, you have unemployment, people want to take out their frustration for whatever reason, right or wrong. This is an avenue for them to do that. Knowing what's going on in your neighborhood and being able to map that and draw some analytical conclusions about that might help public policy address some of the underlying issues. Um, here we see, obviously, uh, somebody's upset with us. I, I debated about putting that slide up there, but I did because it's important for us as Americans to understand how the rest of the world thinks about us, right? Corporate wealth games. A uh, lot of protests going on around the world about uh, perceived greed or, or real greed, right? There's a lot of problems with that. It's not a crime to be poor. Right? People all over the world are fighting to make a living for themselves. But when they express themselves in this way, and we're not paying attention, we're losing out. We're not, we're not getting it. Right? Again, this is in Tehran. This, that's Farsi. Right? They're protesting uh, about the lack of internet access in, in Iran. So it's a universal issue around the world. People express themselves in this way. If we don't understand that, we're missing out. So when we look at some examples, people, this is in Seattle, mapping graffiti tags by, by gangs around the city. You can draw polygons, you can start seeing areas of influence, both from a, a, an enforcement perspective. Um, but if we don't, if we don't start understanding what's going on at the ground level and where that's happening, why uh, that's happening, then it's going to be something that's going to end up in a result in, in a situation that we're all really familiar with in the last year. This is Tahrir Square in Cairo. Right? Whole government was overthrown because they didn't understand what was going on at the street level. And there's graffiti that indicates the political unrest was starting to boil over. Right? What we're going to do, and what we've already started, is we're going to launch uh, a new platform called Graffiti Mapping. I'd invite you to sign up, uh, get involved, even in the local community, help promote it so that we can start drawing some inferences about what's happening even in our own communities here in the United States and certain urban areas. So graffitimapping.org, uh, on Twitter, tag Graffiti Mapper. If you want to help participate, sign up for the beta, that'd be great. Thanks, that's what I've got.